Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Ascended. And a lot of people are having major graphical errors over on the new game. Now, that being said, it is a very smooth launch, actually, and there's a lot of really good graphics in the game. But this is going to explain all of the graphics settings to you so you know what to do and what to change on your either console or computer in order to get the best settings that you're looking for, whether you want to go for maximum FPS or maximum quality. And you usually can't do both, probably unless you're rocking a 4090, in which case you can probably do both. But that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by showing you the graphics settings because you can get some really cool stuff. And there's a lot of stuff you don't actually need that Arc actually leaves in there. But let's go ahead and get started. So you can access your graphics settings by going into your actual settings. I'm not going to go into any of the commands that you can run because I'm just going to show you the actual input of what happens when you change your video and graphic settings. There's not really anything inside of the advanced that we're going to need to worry about, um, but that's up to you um, if you want to go further than that. But I'm going to go and get started here. So video, first off and foremost, if you haven't figured out what resolution means, essentially all it means is the number of pixels, for lack of a better way of saying it, the both vertical and horizontal stretch of your computer. The more pixels you have on your screen, the higher these numbers are, the more difficult it is for your game to run. You probably want to match it to what your screen is. So if you want to have a 1920 by 1080 screen, most people have right around that. You click on that and let it be. Now, if you're really, really struggling, I mean, if you're really struggling, you can go down to the lower settings and that's not a major problem because the lower the settings, the more easy it is on your computer to run it. It's just going to look not as pretty. But I would try and find the native resolution of your display and use that. Now, there are two things you can do, windowed full screen and full screen. I highly recommend windowed full screen, but that's me, personal opinion, because I like to be able to escape and not have it close everything out of my screen. And then you can click a max frame rate if you're struggling, because how computers actually work and, and consoles as well is they are going to constantly try and give you as much as possible. So if you don't care about how, like, let's say your, your computer screen is only capable of giving you 60 hertz or 60 frames per second, then cap it out at 60 because you don't really need more than that. If your computer screen is only capable of giving 100, cap it out at 100 because your whatever you're working on is going to cap out at, at, at the highest point all the time. So even though I might only be able to get 100 hertz on my screen, my graphics card is going to try and produce two, three, four, five hundred, however high it can reach. So if you cap it, it's going to make it quite a bit easier on your actual graphics card. So you can definitely do that. Now, when it comes to your resolution, now it depends on what you want to do. Now, some people have major problems with this. So just be aware of that. Um, I don't have an issue. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I have the settings to go into this, the NVIDIA DLSS. Now, you can go, if you're looking for performance, crank that to uh, ultra performance. And if you want to look quality, you can turn it on. Some people's graphics card, if they're a little lower on the NVIDIA scale, you might want to turn this off because it does cause a little bit more strain on your actual graphics card. And then the reflex low latency. Again, another one of those things that you can turn on or off. But if you have an older graphics card, I would probably leave that turned off. Now, here's the settings that actually matter. So. On the left hand side, notice mine is custom. There is a reason for that because there's a few things in this little area that we're going to actually change and kind of talk about. So in the actual advanced graphics, what that is going to mean essentially is anything that's like an additional graphic. Um, so uh, you might think of it like uh, explosions or anything in general. So what do you want your overall graphics to look like? My answer is because I have a good graphics card is epic. Now, people with medium graphics cards stick to medium. And if you have an older graphics card, go to low. Also, just for those people that want maximum FPS for like PVP purposes, set everything to low. Everything. All of it. Set it all to low. Because the more uh, lower you set it, the more frames you're going to get. It's just going to look uglier, but you're going to get more frames. That's the goal. Now, view distance. This is the distance that you can view into the actual uh, from your character to the maximum distance away. The higher you set your view distance, the harder it is on your graphics card because you're essentially loading everything in for maximum range. So just be aware of that. I set it to epic PVP players. This is the one thing you want to bump up just a little bit because you want to be able to see things further out. But here, mine is on high, but epic is also a really good setting. 
Now textures. Textures is like when you're looking at an object, what it looks like. Is it pretty? Is it not pretty? So on and so forth. Um, it could be a cactus that you're looking at or a creature. Higher settings are going to be more strenuous on your computer, but they're going to be prettier. So same concept, right? Uh, post processing, I'm not going to go into describing this, but basically it's very strenuous on your computer to run this as a high setting. So if you do not have a higher end graphics card, kick this down to like a medium or low and you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. Now, high shadows. Now, general shadows, this is personal preference. How much do you really care about the shadows on the ground? Probably not all that much because you're probably not tracking that, right? A medium or a high is just about everything. It'll make a massive difference if you drop this down. For some reason, graphics and uh, shadows have always had major problems. So setting this on a lower scale will help you out a ton. If you're struggling with uh, getting more frames, set it to like low medium. If you want some uh, still pretty, I don't even go to epic on this one. I leave mine on high, just so you're aware. Now, global illumination quality. This is another one that's kind of interesting. It's the basic light that exists, right? The higher you set this, the more difficult it is for your graphics card to run the game. But on a epic setting, it does look really pretty. But realistically speaking, you probably don't need higher than like a medium or a high. But I set mine as a 3090 Ti on epic. Now, effects qualities, this is another one of those ones that do, how much do you care about it, right? When something goes boom or when something goes off or something's changing and things are like actually moving around in the world, how much quality do you want in that? Epic is going to be very strenuous on your graphics card. However, is it really all that important or a major difference between high and epic? No, not really. It's very minimal. So you can go higher on the scale. And if your graphics card is struggling, go to more like a lower or medium on this one. Now, Foliage. This is the easy. How much do you care about how pretty the foliage is? If if you care about a really pretty picture, set it to epic. But I warn you, it's going to drop your frame rate a ridiculous amount. Uh, foliage, because it covers the entire ground, the higher this is, the more difficult it is to run in your game. But it will look so much better. I will tell you that much. For people playing PvE, set this as high as you can. That's my recommendation. Now this right hand side, notice how my numbers are changed just a wee bit. And then my, there's a couple of settings that I'll explain about you. First off, turn off motion blur. It's awful. Makes me sick. Awful. You will immediately gain probably 20 to 30 frames just by leaving motion blur off because you're essentially, essentially what's happening when you leave it on your screen, your graphics card is trying to make it feel like in real life when you try and look quickly somewhere and everything kind of blurs until you focus in. Your computer is trying to do that. It's actually easier for it to just keep everything in place and not have to blur all that stuff. So it's going to save you graphics and it makes you not want to throw up when you're looking. Now, also light bloom and light shafts. Yes, they can kind of look pretty, but they are very detrimental to the frames that you're getting. Even people that are playing for like the beauty of the game, I would recommend leaving these off because a lot of times the light bloom and light shafts are just going to get in your way and it's going to suck and you're not going to enjoy it. So definitely leave both of those settings off. Low light enhancement. I leave that off. You can turn it on. Again, it's like it sounds low light enhancement. Do you want to be able to see when things are lower light or do you not want to be able to see? If you leave it on, it will cost you a little bit, but just be aware of the fact that it will help in darker zones. Now, this one is an easy one because how much do you really care if you enable the actions of moving the bushes and moving the water you're in? If you care, if you're more of a PvP player, you don't care. If you're a PvE player, this is a really cool concept, but it is very draining on the PC to add those additional steps and decals and all those kinds of things in. So you can leave it on. And if your computer is being drained, lower some of these numbers because what it's gonna do the foliage interaction distance, how far away do you want to interact with it? Set that number if you're having troubles, like around one to two. Two is more than enough. Foliage interaction distance limit, setting that at four is very high. You can easily drop this down to two without much of a problem. And then foliage interaction quantity limit. Now this is the amount that's going on. Setting that, like all three of these being at two is more than enough. So don't even no, like that's more than enough. If you want to set it to like one, 1 1.5, that's also just fine for a little bit of pretty right now. These things minor in the cost of your frames, but they still cost you frames. 
the footstep particles, essentially all that's going to do is when you step inside of something or move on something, it's kind of like puff up a little bit and then leave that imprint. It does look pretty, but is it necessary? No. Save a couple of frames. I have it turned on because I like how it looks for videos. Enable footstep decals. Same concept, right? When you imprint into the ground, you get to see that impression, so on and so forth. Are you really going to notice it? Probably not. So you can turn that off. Um, don't even like leave this off. Disable HLOD, leave that off. Uh, GUI 3D widget quality. Again, GUI is graphical user interface. Three-dimensional widget quality. This does not need to be good, but it's up to you. Having it at 0.5 is more than enough and it saves everything that you need to, right? So I have mine more set to a kind of pretty looking overall graphics not a p this is not what i would set for pvp if i was doing pvp i would drop all of these to almost zero i would have view distance on epic and turn all of this off but the consequence is you get a really pretty looking game like you see in front of me right here now you can type in if you're curious show fps um and you can do show fps and it'll pull it up wow no fps no, why am i spelling it wrong show fps I'm spelling it wrong, whatever. But anyways, you get the point. You can type in FPS, uh, stat FPS, that's what it was. It's not gonna show you right now, but it's crazy. But you can, oh, it's in the right middle side of my screen. You can see those are my uh, frames per second that I'm generating. On maximum settings, I'm sitting about 50 frames per second, which isn't bad. The human eye cannot see technically, and people are like, oh, I can. Um, really not able to process much more than 30 to 60 frames per second. Now it does, what I will say is the computer spitting them out and you processing them are two different things because like those numbers have to sync up. So the more frames your computer can give you, the more sense it makes sense to your brain. So that helps a lot. If you want to play this game successfully, 40, uh, 30 to 40 is you want to definitely constantly be above 30 to 40. As long as you're above those two numbers, you are pretty set. You're not going to notice a major difference. And that's kind of what we're looking for. So anyways, hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this kind of explains what graphics are and how you should think about changing them. And uh, if you want to see anything else or have any questions, leave some comments below. But other than that, if you don't mind, smack that like button. Leave a comment below for those questions and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.